Hi folks, this is Alan and I'm back with another movie review for you. And today I'm going to be reviewing the 2007 Pixar animated film Ratatouille, featuring the voices of Patton Oswalt and Ian Holm, Gian Garofalo, Peter O'Toole, and others. And uh, Ratatouille, basically, this is the story about a rat in Paris named Remy, Remy the Rat, who basically wants to become a chef. And he basically gets himself involved with some uh, shenanigans at a French restaurant, and he becomes best pals with a goofy, uh, nerdy chef guy in, in the kitchen named Linguini. Actually, he's, uh, he's the garbage boy, but he gets to become a chef. Yeah, Linguini is his name. So Remy the Rat and Linguini, the nerdy garbage boy turned chef, working together in the kitchen to make really good food and uh, save their restaurant. And um, that's basically what you got going on <laughs> in Ratatouille. Okay, Ratatouille. This is a Pixar movie that I have not seen since it was first released in uh, 2007. Only watched it once before. And all this time, I considered Ratatouille to be my least favorite Pixar movie. I can never forget the day in 2007 when I saw Ratatouille. I saw it on opening day, okay? And I think the theater was completely packed with children and adults. And the movie unfolded. And I can never forget that all the kids in the audience were talking. <laughs> the kids in the audience were like fidgeting in their seats and talking and the parents had to keep telling the kids to shut up i would fortunately i sat in the very back row so uh it wasn't as horrible an experience as it could have been but i'm telling you the kids were talking the parents kept telling them to shut up because there was nothing on that movie screen to entertain them you know my, my opinion of the film is a very low one um again i can never forget going to, to see ratatouille on opening day and the fact that none of the kids in the audience appeared to be the slightest bit interested in this particular pixar film and i never held it in in high esteem uh ratatouille even though the movie went on to be a box office success and a critical success and it went on to win the academy award for best animated feature that year but i gotta tell you all of that stuff means nothing to me i was personally bored by Ratatouille besides the fact you noticing you know all the kids around me in the theater not seeming to give a shit about this particular Pixar film but I remember being very very bored I remember being you know not interested in the slightest in the story or the characters and in the end the only thing that I came away with liking about Ratatouille and it's the one saving grace of every single Pixar movie is the animation the animation in the film is beautiful absolutely gorgeous all those those uh paris france vistas and sites visually the movie is beautiful there is no such thing as a poorly animated pixar film and uh ratatouille is certainly no exception it's beautifully animated but that's the only thing i like about the movie just the animation uh everything else about the film just bored me to tears and i have not seen the movie again until now Never bought it on DVD. I never went back for a second helping, you know, at, at the movie theater. My memories of Ratatouille were not good. So, uh, in order to review it for you now on my channel, I decided, all right, I'm going to rent it online, and I'm going to give Ratatouille another chance, and maybe, just maybe, I'll like it a little bit better. There are no kids sitting around me to make noise and fidget in their seats, so it's just me and the movie, so I'm going to give it another shot. So, I rented Ratatouille online. I just finished watching it, and what's my verdict of Ratatouille now? It's a little bit better than I remembered it to be. A little bit better, I admit, but I still can't give it a pass. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I just can't. I will admit, the movie is a little bit better than I remembered it to be. And you can see Pixar are really, really trying hard, beautifully animated. But I gotta tell you, I still don't care for the story. I still don't care for these characters. I still don't care for the rat Remy and his ridiculous thing of wanting to become a chef. I don't care at all for his nerdy garbage boy slash chef friend named Linguini. Linguini is annoying. He's just, oh, 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 oh. he's just, I mean, people say Mater the tow truck is the Jar Jar Binks of uh, Pixar animation. No, Linguini from Ratatouille is the Jar Jar Binks of Pixar animation. He is so annoying. He's just, <laughs> you know, uh, he's just a nerd and he's a klutz and 
another thing about Ratatouille that I don't like, the notion that Remy the Rat can control Linguini's movements by pulling on his hair? What? That is so stupid. I mean, he can, he can control Linguini like a robot just, just by getting on top of his head and pulling Linguini's hair. Yeah, that is just so ridiculous. The voice cast are certainly trying hard. I mean, Patton Oswalt does the voice of Remy the Rat, and, you know, he's, he's good for, you know, for what he's got uh, with this character, but I just didn't care for this rat. I just didn't care for the rat. And, and the fact that it's based on a rat and a, and a family of rats because we get to meet the whole rat clan that, that Remy comes from. You know, me personally, my thing about rats, I definitely like the domesticated rats that uh, people keep as pets. Domesticated rats, the rats that are meant to be your little pets and meant to be your little friends that don't carry diseases and all that. You know, domesticated rats, they're cute, they're friendly. I even momentarily uh, consider getting a, a pet rat or, or two. So I don't have a problem with domesticated rats. I'm not anti-domesticated rat, but... The street rats, uh, you know, give me the creeps, as I'm sure they give a lot of people out there the creeps. You certainly don't want street rats in your home. <laughs> Who does? And seeing a whole movie about street rats, uh, even though Remy the Rat is a nice, kind rat and he has the voice of Patton Oswalt, it was kind of creepy. Uh, for me watching a movie about street rats in this film and again I mean I realize that this movie is trying to put a spin on that on that notion about uh, you know the, the rat in the kitchen you know you know the one thing no restaurant ever wants to have ever is a rat in the kitchen or rats uh, in in the kitchen and obviously the folks at Pixar came up with this idea of well what if a certain rat in the kitchen was actually a skilled chef and could cook. Uh, okay, that's that's an amusing idea, I admit. But again, seeing it executed on the screen, you know, I just got to be honest with you guys. I just didn't care for this story. I was not the slightest bit interested. I did not care for the character of Remy the Rat. Couldn't care less if he became a chef. His his human friend Linguini is annoying. Again, I think Linguini is the Jar Jar Binks of Pixar, not Mater the Tow Truck from the Cars movies. I like Mater the Tow Truck just fine. Linguini is annoying. He's annoying. And again, Remy can control his movements by pulling on Linguini's hair. What a crock of shit. That is <laughs> just so stupid. Um, another problem I have with Ratatouille is that it's too long. This, this movie clocks in at one hour and 52 minutes, and I think the movie is at least 20 minutes too long. I think Ratatouille should have been like dead on 90 minutes, and that would have been fine, but one hour and 52 minutes, I mean, heading towards two hours, it, to me, it's just too long. And there were some parts of it that just dragged, just just dragged. I mean, I, I stuck with it, okay, I, I definitely stayed with it, but I just thought a lot of it uh, dragged. Ratatouille strikes me as a Pixar movie that has a lot more appeal for adults, I think, than for children. I think a lot of children in the audience won't understand it. They won't get into it. They're not going to care if it's a cute little rat. The fact is that it's all about cooking. And it, it, it has like, like a very adult-oriented story, only with a cute little rat at the center of it all. You know, So I think this movie would have a lot more appeal for adults than for children. But speaking as an adult... I personally just couldn't get into it. You know, I just, it's just not my thing, this particular uh, Pixar film. I realize that Ratatouille definitely has its share of fans, but I'm just not one of them. I'm just being honest. So there you go, folks. That's it. That's my review of Ratatouille. This is Alan. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for another movie review. Bye-bye.